done as this is Pushkala and we'll be seeing how to implement ResNet 50 for predicting certain images. So basically image classification, we will see how it works. So first, before stepping into ResNet 50, we have to know what is ResNet 50. So ResNet 50 is a pre-trained model. ResNet 50 is a pre-trained model that has already been trained with thousands of classes. So what we can we are going to do in this module is I'm gonna implement use this pre-trained model and I have a certain images saved. We are going to use that images inside the model and see how the prediction is going to work. So if you have a certain predictions to make and you don't know how to implement a complex neural network or something, you can use this trained model for a pre-trained model for simple predictions and purposes. You don't have to know all the knowledges of neural networks to do this. You just need to know what are the correct libraries to use and how to do the prediction. So let's step into the uh, code. So first I'll import all the necessary libraries and these are the libraries I'll, I'm gonna need. So first thing is TensorFlow. When talking about deep learning or uh, um, any neural networks related stuff, you need this TensorFlow and Keras. So I'll just import this libraries I need. Load image is to load a image directory. Let's say I have a file name and I'm gonna load that file into the uh, program. I need this load image and image to array is I'm gonna convert whatever the image cell is into a array format, not by array format. For that, we need image to array function. So again, Keras, applications, ImageNet utils. So this is the last function I'm gonna need. This is the most important function that I'm gonna need. This function is going to actually give me the predictive results. Whatever the prediction result that is given by the computer, this decode prediction is going to give me the actual prediction result. <laughs> So I'm gonna need NumPy pandas and uh, sorry NumPy and Matplotlib for uh, showing the images and NumPy for numerical manipulations and everything. So I'll import that as well. So ResNet 50 is the library I need for uh, to call those pre-trained models. This is the pre-trained model I've been talking about to do the prediction. And this library is going to give you code predictions. I've left out an S. Okay, this decode prediction is going to give me the correct result in the form that I understand, that is called decoding. So whatever the numerical prediction is, it is going to be transformed into the words that any human can easily understand, that is decoding the predictions. So we have imported all the libraries we need, and the first thing is I'm gonna load an image. So this is my original image. I'm gonna use this load image function and I'm gonna use a laptop image I have already used, maybe a dog image I have already, yeah. Have this dog image, I'm gonna use that. The target size is 224 and 220. 
224 pixels cross 224 pixels. That is what this 224 cross 224 is. And I'll show this image. So using the IM show image show from the Matplotlib library, I can visualize this image. This is the image, dog image. So this is literally a golden retriever or a Labrador puppy. So let's see, this is going to be correctly classified or not. So let's convert this into a array first. So let's say original size. Let me print the original size. Dot size. So this is 240, uh, 224 cross 224 because that is what the size I have given and the image is in 224 dot 220. So I'm going to convert this into an array now because for numerical manipulation, I want to convert this into an array. So this is going to be changed into a numpy image. So basically this is an array. So let's say numpy. Array and I'm gonna image the original inside and let's print np dot image dot size to get the size now. Instead of that, let me say shift. This is numpy, so shape. So it is a RGB image now uh, of type three. If it says three. That is our RGB image. We have a three dimensional image. So R, G, and B. That is what three dimensional matrix is. <laughs> so from that, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to expand the dimension here. While training the neural network, I need this in a four dimension. This is currently three dimension. I need this into a four dimension. So I'm going to just, uh, let's say, input image. This is going to be my final input. So I'm going to say just input image np dot expand dimensions. <laughs> Whatever the dimension is right now, it is going to be expanded one axis. So I'll print the shape again. Input image dot shape. So as you can see, we have converted the 24 cross 224 into an RGB matrix using NumPy. And after that, we have converted that with that expand dimension function into four dimension. Just this one is added before, just to make it four dimension, that's all. To make it uh, processable for this uh, ResNet thing. So I'm gonna use this ResNet. This is the pre-trained model. I'm just going to say pre-trained model equal to pre-trained model equal to I'm going to call ResNet50 dot pre-processed input and I'm going to say input image dot copy. Just going to use the copy of that instead of using the original image. So let's say this is the image. This is the pre drain model. ResNet 50 dot. Inside that, I have the ResNet again. ResNet 50. This is the correct function. And weights equal to ImageNet. ImageNet is nothing but a data set that comes with thousands of classes that is being trained to the ResNet. So that is what I'm saying, weights equal to ImageNet. When the ResNet is trained with the ImageNet database, whatever it is, the weight that is accessed by the neural network, use that for this prediction. That is what we said using weights equal to ImageNet. So I'm just gonna do the prediction now. Predictions I'm gonna use pre-trained model dot 
predict function and inside this i'm going to use that image so label equal to i have to use this decode otherwise the predictions will be very uh, different will not be able to read what is it i'll print it to show what is the prediction is see this is the prediction and we certainly don't understand what this is. So to make it more accessible for us, I'm gonna use this decode prediction. So this is going to convert this prediction in such a way that we can be able to understand what this is. So this is what the output is. So if you wanna see only the middle one, just use a for loop. For loop, in range of len of zero and label of zero i'm just indexing it's nothing much so i'm just extracting the words inside not all the numbers and everything so it has the maximum ratio here on the golden retriever. So it is 98% classified as golden retriever, which is almost correct. So this is my predictions. I'll even say display with the probabilities. This will be easy that. So it is 98% golden retriever. So this is how you make a prediction using a pre-trained model, ResNet 50. So if you have any doubts, leave it in the comment session. And thank you so much. Bye-bye.